Well, howdy there, partner. This is E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews, and today we're gonna review The Harder They Fall. Reach for the sky. All right, let's jump right into a quick intro. Gunning for revenge, outlaw Nat Love saddles up with his gang to take down enemy Rufus Buck, a ruthless crime boss who just got sprung from prison. All right, enough of that. Let's jump right into the good. The good. The Harder They Fall has such an amazing cast that legitimately every single one of these characters could have their own movie. Jonathan Majors was exceptional in his portrayal as Nat Love. He's the perfect leading man and he nails the revenge story motif with ease. Best of all, this film gives Majors an opportunity to show off just a glimpse of his range as an actor where he can go from humorous to action star to emotional drama at the drop of a dime. Next to him, Idris Elba is sensational as the primary villain in the story. I loved how he demonstrated his no-nonsense demeanor throughout the film. You could feel the terror that he imposed on everyone around him, thus amplifying the threatening impact his character possessed. He was aided by some other great supporting co-stars too. Regina King is a gem, and she also made her character of Trudy Smith into a force to be reckoned with. I think the most intriguing character in this movie had to have come from Lakeith Stanfield. His role as Cherokee Bill garnered a love-hate connection for me. He's a villain in the film, but Stanfield's performance makes him so compelling and layered. One moment you think you don't like the guy, and then the next moment you're almost drawn to learning more about him. I would say that out of all the characters in the film, his role probably drew out the most reactions from me, given the various situations he's placed in. Now the ball doesn't stop rolling there when it comes to great acting in this, and I've got to give props to the legendary Delroy Lindo. He played an even more legendary role of Bass Reeves, who by the way, was the very first black deputy US Marshal west of the Mississippi River. Lindo delivered a well-balanced performance that made his character both fascinating and personable. Alongside all that star power, RJ Kyler was a definite scene stealer. He had some of the funniest moments in the film without a doubt. He excelled in many of the scenes that were filled with some playful banter and exchanges with other characters. I love the charisma and style that RJ brought to this role because by the end of the film, you can't help but to feel so attached to him in some way. Now, The Harder They Fall is so captivating to watch thanks to some really good cinematography. I was really impressed with the attention to detail and how so many of the camera angles never got dull or boring. So many of the scenes would give you a particular vantage point to help elevate whatever was going on in the story. For example, let's say we're in the middle of a standoff and the camera would shift into the reflection of a gun barrel just to show you the character that was talking. Or maybe the shot is off center and we're looking at the tall shadows of the characters instead. In addition to that, there was a really nice marriage between the cinematography and the set design that all comes perfectly together to help amplify the tone at a particular moment. You'll definitely know what I'm talking about once you see the characters pull up to a white town. And all these things really add up to pure entertainment and a really visually appealing experience. Now, just like a true Western, The Harder They Fall is not lacking in the action department at all. There is a lot of violence and blood and guts and of course, gunfights. The gritty action is a fun ride, but I think the real selling point is all the tension that builds up before all the shooting even happens. The level of suspense in this film is through the roof. When you get to the classic quick draw showdowns, you'll be on the edge of your seat waiting to see who's gonna win out. What I loved the most was that many of the outcomes come as a total shock and are not predictable. All right, let's move on to the bad. The bad. Now, I think a very minor point that some people might have with this movie is going to come in the final act of the film. There's a pretty dramatic shift from all the extreme tense action to a slower paced exposition in the final scene. It kind of almost felt like riding along in a high speed chase and someone suddenly just slams the brakes. 
The scene does bring out some really good acting with the drama and all that, but the transition might be a little disappointing for some people. Well, that's all I can find. Let's go to the reason. The reason. The Harder They Fall is an instant classic that blends humor, drama, and violence into a black exploitation western. To date, this was easily one of the best films of the year. I had a blast watching it, and it only left me wanting to see much more. I don't care if it's prequels or sequels, I'll take any continuation within this framework or cinematic universe. I also have to mention that I was really appreciative of like the opening credits of this movie. So right from the very beginning, it lets you know that, hey, these are real characters, like real people based off of real history, but the story that's about to happen in the movie is completely fiction. Far too often we go into movies that are inspired by real events or based on a true story. And like a lot of times the creative liberties that happen, they kind of like leave a harmful impression on like what actually happened in history, whether something gets whitewashed or it gets desensitized, you know, or whatever. So for me, I really appreciated that fact because now that burden of like, you know, scrutinizing a movie to make sure that it, you know, there's all this historical accuracy. I didn't have to do that here. It gave me the free ticket of escapism to just sit back and enjoy the ride. I think the other bonus is knowing the fact that because these characters are based off of real people, there's some incentive for audiences to go out and look up their history too. So when it comes to the rating, for the harder they fall, I've got to give it a nine out of 10. The Harder They Fall has like the same vibe as Kill Bill or Django. I'd even be bold to say that this was kind of like if Black Panther were made into a Western. I mean, this movie is unapologetic about taking a classic Western genre and fitting it through the black lens. And you know what? I'm here for it. It checks off all the right boxes to me and it is totally worth watching whenever you can. So as you can tell, I had a great time with this movie. I do believe that it is going to be available in theaters right now. Uh, it is in select theaters, so you definitely want to check your local area. However, it will be coming to Netflix on November 3rd, so keep a lookout for that as well. So do you plan on watching The Harder They Fall? If and when you do, come on back to this video and let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Anyway, that's all the time I got for today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Are you new to my channel? Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and tell a friend. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.